Some celebrities today that we grew up with are either happily married or have a family of their own. But there were just some weird relationships in the past. So weird that we just want to forget about it. Well, we're here to remind you of those. Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. For this video, we'll take a look at the top five celebrity couples you may have forgotten about. But before anything else, please leave a like on the video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell down below so you won't miss any of our videos. Without any further ado, let's hop on right to the video. It's easy to overlook the fact that some people have been in the spotlight for decades. As a result, in addition to following their work, much of their personal lives, including who they've been dating, have been the subject of celebrity gossip over the years. Here, we look back on five surprising celebrity couples that you may have forgotten happened. Taylor Swift and Joe Jonas. Despite the fact that they were only together for a few months, from July to October 2008, Taylor was able to come up with a few song ideas, including Forever and Always, which incorporates the lyrics, Once Upon a Time, I Believe It Was a Tuesday When I Caught Your Eye and We Caught On to Something. And were you just kidding? Because it seems to me this thing is breaking down. While it's been speculated that Jonas and Swift broke up over a 27 second phone call causing a major rift, the two currently look to be on fine terms. Taylor is said to have made references to him and his wife Sophie Turner in the lyrics for Invisible String, which was released in 2020. For the boys who broke my heart, the steel of my axe to grind was cold. Now I send their babies presents. Helen Mirren and Liam Neeson Long before, Helen Mirren and Liam Neeson actually dated. That comes off as a surprise to younger fans now, but it's true. Helen and Liam met while working together on the 1981 film Excalibur, reminiscing about their romance during the 2018 appearance of The Graham Norton Show. We didn't just date, we lived together for four years, Dame Helen said. We were a serious item for a while, lucky me. Neeson added, before I met her and we worked together, I had read somewhere that if she fancied a guy, she would imitate his walk behind his back. And I turned around one day and she was doing that to me. I remember being on set and standing with Kieran Hines as Helen walked towards us dressed in her full Morgana Le Fay costume. And we both went, oh, I was smitten. I think Kieran was too, but I was very smitten. Tom Cruise and Penelope Cruz. The two met on filming and announced their love at the premiere of Captain Corelli's Mandolin in August 2001. They were together till 2004. Cruz later told The Telegraph, I've never fallen in love with someone I'm working with. It's always been afterwards. If something becomes friendship, then maybe months later it becomes something else. But you can never know. It's always a mystery. You can't plan those things. After two and a half years together, Cruz and Cruz's relationship came to an end in late January 2004. Cruz's publicist assured reporters that the split was amicable, while Cruz's rep said, they remain good friends and still talk often. Kate Hudson and Alex Rodriguez. The romance is said to have begun in November 2008, when the Fontainebleau Hotel in Miami reopened. That year, Alex had broken up with his wife, Cynthia Skirtis, and Kate had ended her relationship with Owen Wilson. When Kate was seen cheering on the New York Yankees player at his games in 2008, it ignited dating rumors. They also had their PDAs on, indicating that they were more than simply good friends. But it ended after seven months. When asked about the romance during an interview with Harper's Bazaar, Kate suggested it wasn't serious and said, I have a child and there are people involved and it's unfair to talk about somebody else especially when you're not in that place yet to be discussing those things, she said. If I was sitting here with the belly out to here, I'd be talking about what the relationship is and how important that is in my life right now. Kim Kardashian and Nick Cannon. Kim dated Nick Cannon from 2006 to 2007. This was before Kanye West or even Chris Humphreys entered the picture. Nick stated they broke up in a 2012 Howard Stern interview because Kim lied to him about the existence of her now famous 2003 sex tape. He said, we talked about this tape and she told me there was no tape, he said at the time. If she might have been honest with me, I might have tried to hold her down and be like, that was before me because she's a great girl, Nick added. She's actually one of the nicest people you'll ever meet, 
But the fact that she lied and told me that there was no tape, Nick went on to have two children with and marry Mariah Carey. What do you think of these forgotten couples? Let us know in the comment section down below. That's it for today. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you'll never miss out on any future content we'll produce for you guys. We're signing off for now. We'll be sure to catch you all in the next one.